Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. On today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you all about the primary chakras. Now, most people know about chakras 1 through 7, but today I'm going to be covering chakras 1 through 8, and in an upcoming episode, I'll be covering chakras 9 through 12. So, let's get started. So, what does the word chakra even mean? Chakra is a Sanskrit word meaning wheel and is used to describe the spinning energy vortexes located inside of the body. Each of these vortexes govern a different organ system within your body, and each of these organ systems corresponds to one of the main seven chakras in the body. There are also minor chakras located all throughout the body as well, and each of the minor chakras governs smaller systems within the body like bundles of nerves. Aside from having an organ system correspondence, each of the chakras also has a color and sound correspondence too, because energy, color, and sounds are all composed of frequency, which is created by vibrations and their varying speeds. Faster vibrations equal higher frequencies and slower vibrations equal lower ones. So the first chakra, known as the root chakra, corresponds with the color red because the color red has the slowest vibration and the lowest frequency of all the colors. The root chakra is associated with the musical note C, which is the lowest of the seven notes on the music scale. The root chakra is also associated with the 396 Hz solfeggio frequency, which helps eradicate fear, guilt, shame, and negative thought patterns. The root chakra is located at the lower base of the spine near the tailbone region, and it physically governs the lower back, legs, feet, bladder. The root chakra pertains to the energies of survival, instinct, personal sense of security in the world, physical pain, and even physical pleasure. Chakras can be underactive, overactive, or balanced. Ideally, you want to have them balanced. When the root chakra is not balanced, the individual feels disconnected, physically drained, scattered, confused, anxious, fearful, stressed, uncertain, aggressive, and or reckless. An imbalanced root chakra can also lead to feeling clumsy, lower back pain, constipation, chronic fatigue, sleep issues, and poor circulation. But there are many ways to bring each chakra back into balance. To balance the root chakra, you can envision and or meditate on the color red. Immersing yourself in the color that is associated with whatever chakra is out of balance will help you bring that particular chakra into balance because it will stimulate that chakra. You can also connect with the element of earth by sitting out in nature or walking on the earth barefoot. You can eat red foods and foods that come from the ground, such as beets, red peppers, potatoes, carrots, pomegranates, strawberries, cherries, etc. You can work with grounding crystals, such as black tourmaline, shungite, black onyx, garnet, red jasper, and many others. You can practice aromatherapy by working with scents such as yang yang, patchouli, cedarwood, vetiver, pine, frankincense, and other earthy scents. You can repeat affirmations to yourself, such as, I am safe, secure, and grounded, or I am confident and I have nothing to fear. The second chakra is known as the sacral chakra and is associated with the color orange. Orange is an invigorating color that stimulates the emotions. The sacral chakra is associated with the musical note D and is also associated with 417 Hz solfeggio frequency, which is said to remove negative energy, trapped emotions within the body, and facilitates positive change on a subconscious level. The sacral chakra is located in the pelvic region and physically governs the reproductive system within the body. It connects to the production of sex hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. The sacral chakra pertains to the energies of sex, pleasure, emotion, abundance, and self-respect. When the sacral chakra is balanced, the individual feels creative, harmonious, optimistic, honest, giving, receptive, sensual, compassionate, and simply just able to go with the flow. When the sacral chakra is not balanced, however, the individual feels guarded, repressed, manipulative, unforgiving, jealous, guilty, insecure, inadequate in their abilities to be creative and or sexual, overly lustful, lack of passion, lack of intimacy, emotionally unstable, tense, and unable to find solutions to everyday problems, or simply un unwilling and unable to just go with the flow. An imbalanced sacral chakra can lead to kidney and urinary tract issues, infertility, irregularities in the menstrual cycle, and overactive or underactive sex drive. To balance your sacral chakra, you can envision or meditate on the color orange. You can connect with the element of water because water flows and the 
sacral chakra is related to the energies of being able to go with the flow. You can eat orange foods such as mangoes, papaya, ginger, turmeric, and oranges. You can work with crystals such as carnelian, citrine, sunstone, and tiger's eye. You can work with scents such as sweet orange, tangerine, patchouli, yang yang, and cardamom. You can repeat affirmations to yourself such as, I am a creative, sensual, and abundant being, or I am beautiful, confident, and kind or I welcome new people and new experiences into my life with love, confidence, ease, and joy. The third chakra is known as the solar plexus chakra and is associated with the color yellow. The color yellow is said to stimulate the nervous system, which makes sense because the solar plexus chakra is related to the nervous system. The solar plexus chakra is located directly above the navel and not only governs the nervous system, but also the digestive system as well. The solar plexus chakra is associated with the musical note E and is associated with a 528 hertz solfeggio frequency, which is said to increase energy in the body, help reduce the production of cortisol, and is also said to help increase levels of self-esteem and confidence. The solar plexus chakra pertains to the energies of willpower, courage, determination, and inner drive. The solar plexus chakra is also sometimes referred to as the seat of the will because it is said that your willpower comes from your solar plexus chakra. When the solar plexus chakra is not balanced, the individual feels difficulty starting and or finishing tasks, may feel helpless, hypercritical, egotistical, have control issues, lack of willpower, and or lack of self-esteem. An imbalanced solar plexus chakra can also lead to digestive issues, bodily anxiety, and improper production of insulin. To balance the solar plexus chakra, you can envision or meditate on the color yellow, you can connect with the element of fire. You can eat yellow foods such as pineapples, squash, bananas, and you can also eat other foods such as oats, beans, and brown rice. You can work with crystals such as amber, citrine, tiger's eye, honey calcite, and yellow tourmaline. You can also work with scents such as sandalwood, myrrh, lemongrass, ginger, and geranium. You can repeat affirmations to yourself such as I am brave, confident, humble, and powerful or I am sure of myself, my abilities, and my decisions. The fourth chakra is known as the heart chakra and is associated with the color green, which is said to be a calming color representing peace, tranquility, stability, and nourishment. Green is said to be the color that bridges the gap between warm and cooling colors, just as the heart chakra is the chakra that bridges the gap between the lower chakras and the higher chakras. The heart chakra is associated with the musical note F, and is also associated with the 639 hertz solfeggio frequency, which enhances understanding, compassion, patience, and love. The heart chakra is located in the center of the chest, just above the heart, and physically governs the heart and the thymus gland. The heart chakra pertains to the energies of unconditional love, compassion, forgiveness, as well as the awareness of not only the self, but of others as well. When the heart chakra is balanced, the individual feels secure, open-hearted, nurturing, compassionate, generous, and expansive. But when the heart chakra is not balanced, the individual feels possessive, greedy, jealous, envious, mistrustful, insecure, cold-hearted, restricted, has a fear of abandonment, a fear of rejection, and can often come off as selfish. An imbalanced heart chakra can also lead to heart and lung issues, such as asthma, poor circulation, and low or high blood pressure. To balance the heart chakra, you can envision or meditate on the color green, you can connect with the element of air, you can eat green foods such as kale, spinach, broccoli, spirulina, and other leafy green foods. You can work with crystals such as rose quartz, malachite, amazonite, green aventurine, chrysocolla, and peridot. You can work with scents such as eucalyptus, rose, jasmine, and pine. You can also repeat affirmations to yourself such as, I love and accept myself and others or I am happy, healthy, prosperous, and loving, or I give and receive love freely and unconditionally. The fifth chakra is known as the throat chakra, and it is associated with the color blue. Blue is said to be the color of harmony and devotion, which makes sense because the throat chakra is all about communication, and healthy communication often brings forth the energies of harmony and devotion. The throat chakra is associated with the musical note G, and is also associated with the 741 hertz solfeggio frequency, which is said to remove toxins and electromagnetic radiation from the cells and organs. 
This frequency is said to purify the body and the mind while mentally promoting healthy expressions and solutions. The throat chakra is located in the, you guessed it, throat region and physically governs the thyroid glands, which is responsible for regulating the body's metabolic rate. As I mentioned before, the throat chakra pertains to the energies of truthful, authentic, peaceful communication, expression, and teaching. The individual with a balanced throat chakra is comfortable with expressing themselves from an authentic place. An imbalanced throat chakra can lead to stiff neck, upper back pain, sore throat, thyroid imbalances, hoarseness, mouth ulcers, and even jaw pain. To balance the throat chakra, you can envision or meditate on the color blue. You can connect with the element of air and sound. You can eat blueberries, blackberries, plums, goji berries, and other organic blue foods. You can work with crystals such as lapis lazuli, sodalite, blue calcite, apatite, blue kyanite, celestite, and aquamarine. You can work with scents such as blue cypress, lilac, blue chamomile, juniper, basil, and peppermint. Peppermint is really good for opening up the airways and healing the lungs. You can repeat affirmations to yourself such as, I clearly, confidently, and truthfully express myself freely or I lovingly express my boundaries and truth without guilt, fear, or shame. The sixth chakra is known as the third eye chakra and is associated with the color indigo, which is said to be the color of dignity, virtue, and inner knowing. The third eye chakra is associated with the musical note A and also relates to the 852 hertz solfeggio frequency, which is said to raise the energy of cells within your body activate your intuition, and awaken your inner strength on a spiritual level. The third eye chakra is located in the forehead between the eyes and physically governs the pineal gland, which produces hormones such as serotonin, melatonin, and DMT. The third eye chakra pertains to the energies of intuition, wisdom, imagination, as well as the exploration and development of psychic abilities such as clairvoyance, claircognition, clairaudience, and more. When the third eye chakra is balanced, the individual feels creative, imaginative, intuitive, and hyper aware of not only themselves and others, but also to the, deep, the deeper meanings and hidden truths within people, places, and situations. An imbalanced third eye chakra can lead to headaches, migraines, dizziness, sleep paralysis, vision problems, as well as feeling depressed and or mentally overwhelmed. To balance the third eye chakra, you can envision and or meditate on the color indigo. You can connect with the element of light. You can eat purple-hued foods such as eggplants, plums, grapes, elderberries, purple carrots, and leafy greens like kale. You can work with crystals such as labradorite, azurite, purple amethyst, fluorite, lapidolite, and iolite. You can work with scents such as lavender, juniper, bay laurel, rosemary, and frankincense. You can repeat affirmations to yourself such as, I trust myself and my intuition and I am one with the universe and I trust its guidance. The seventh chakra is known as the crown chakra and is associated with the color violet, which is the highest frequency color. The color violet represents nobility, regality, higher purpose, and spiritual aspirations. The crown chakra is associated with the musical note B and is related to the 963 hertz solfeggio frequency, which is helpful for awakening, transformation, and regeneration of cells within the body. It also enhances the body and mind's connection to their true spiritual nature. The crown chakra is located just above the head. The crown chakra pertains to the energies of enlightenment and connection to a higher realm of consciousness, as well as our connection to the divine. It also represents our limitless potential. When the crown chakra is balanced, the individual feels deeply connected to all living beings. The individual feels at peace with themselves and others, feels aware and compassionate, and experiences excitement about life, personal growth, learning, and the evolution of not only ourselves, but of the planet. In other words, the person with the balanced crown chakra feels like they are led by purpose and feels like they are living a purpose-driven life. When the crown chakra is not balanced, the individual feels disconnected from themselves and others, directionless, lonely, isolated, apathetic, and mentally overwhelmed. An imbalanced crown chakra can also lead to anxiety, depression, paranoia, short-term memory loss, and other mental health struggles. To balance the crown chakra, you can envision and or meditate on the color violet. You can also imagine a glowing white light sitting just above your head and filling your entire body up with light. You can connect to the element of thought, which is related to the air element. 
A balanced crown chakra helps us to understand that we are not our thoughts, but rather we are the one observing them. When you make use of this knowledge, you can begin to hold yourself accountable for your thoughts and redirect your thought patterns, which will inevitably lead a healthier mindset and also a healthier relationship with your external reality. To balance the crown chakra, you can eat a lot of the same foods that you would eat to balance your third eye chakra, such as eggplants, plums, grapes, elderberries, purple carrots, and leafy greens. You can work with crystals such as purple amethyst, fluorite, moonstone, sugalite, and labradorite. You can also work with scents such as frankincense, palo santo, lotus, and lavender. You can repeat affirmations to yourself such as I am one with all that is, or I am aware, compassionate, peaceful, and kind. Now, the chakras that I just talked about are known as the primary seven chakras, but the chakra that I'm about to talk about is less discussed. It's called the Soul Star Chakra and is also known as the Eighth Chakra. This chakra is often referred to as the seat of the soul because it is said that this chakra is the region where your physical experience unites with your experience on a soul level. You're, it's said that this area can help you connect to your soul and your soul's history. The eighth chakra, otherwise known as the soul star chakra, is associated with the color white that has hues of gold and silver reflecting off of it. Other systems teach that the eighth chakra is associated with a sort of seafoam green color that has magenta hues. Personally, when I began working with the eighth chakra, I did encounter a lot of seafoam green and pink magenta hues, but you can work with this chakra on your own and see what colors come up for you in meditation. The Soul Star Chakra is associated with the musical note of A sharp and is also related to the 272.2 Hz frequency, which is said to help stimulate, activate, and grow our personal energy field and scope of awareness. The Soul Star Chakra is located approximately 6 inches above the head, just above the crown chakra. Thus, it is not located inside of the body, but rather inside of your auric field. The Soul Star Chakra pertains to the energies of transcendental experience. Connecting with this chakra can help the individual access their soul's history or information found in the Akashic Records, which I will discuss with you in a later video. With this chakra, the individual can access information about past lives, their soul's history, and information about realms beyond just the 3D physical world. The Soul Star Chakra helps the individual connect deeper with their cosmic origins, divine order, as well as with the awareness and understanding of karmic contracts, soul lessons, and soul mission. When the soul star chakra is balanced, the individual feels connected to their higher self, as well as their higher purpose, and their own divine nature within the cosmos. The thing about the soul star chakra is you can't activate it until you have somewhat mastered the balancing of the rest of the seven chakras. The eighth chakra is kind of like the portal that leads you into the realm beyond the physical, and you have to master the physical before you can really activate your ability to navigate other realms. When the soul star chakra is activated and balanced, the individual begins healing habitual patterns, moving away from toxic behaviors and toxic cycles, and willingly embodies the laws of the universe, including that of divine love. The individual begins developing advanced psychic abilities and begins living in their purpose free from any feelings of shame, fear, or doubt. When the soul star chakra is activated and balanced, the individual can view themselves from an objective perspective and basically is able to hold themselves accountable with a sense of higher purpose. The individual becomes more concerned with evolving their own consciousness and helping those around them evolve as well. When the soul star chakra is not balanced, the individual repeats negative thought patterns and negative behavioral patterns, feels disconnected from a deep sense of purpose, disconnected from the cosmos and other dimensions, is unaware of their deepest self, their past lives, as well as the importance of their own soul's evolution. The individual can also feel fearful, resistant, doubtful, or hesitant of their own spiritual development personal evolution, psychic abilities, and spiritual giftings. To balance the soul star chakra, you can envision and or meditate on the colors silver, gold, seafoam green, and magenta. You can also connect visually with symbols such as the Merkaba, 
the Sri Yantra, the Flower of Life, and a Star Tetrahedron, as well as the Ankh. These are all symbols within sacred geometry that deliver a subconscious message to the individual to help them shift their frequency towards higher levels of consciousness and also enable the individual to see the deeper connection within all things. To balance the soul star chakra, you can also do an alkaline water fast and incorporate intentional breath work and visualization of the symbols that I mentioned before. Fasting is really good for resetting the body's immune system. A 72 hour fast can literally reset your body from the inside out. Alkaline water can also raise your vibration and allow you to have easier access to the higher chakras, such as the soul star chakra. So you can work with really high vibrational crystals, such as blue kyanite, selenite, phenocyte, celestite, carawite, purple saginite, and even clear quartz. You can work with scents, such as lotus, peppermint, sage, lavender, rose, and frankincense. You can repeat affirmations to yourself regularly, such as, I am the fearless embodiment of divine love and soul purpose, or I am the confident embodiment of my highest self and my deepest purpose. Aside from the eighth chakra that I just mentioned, there are other systems that teach that the earth star chakra is the eighth chakra but the system that I'm teaching you today refers to the Earth Star Chakra as the Zero Point Chakra. The Earth Chakra, or the Zero Point Chakra, is actually located three feet beneath our feet and is said to connect us more deeply to the Earth and to our physical 3D experience. The Earth Star Chakra, or Zero Point Chakra, is associated with the color brown and corresponds to our DNA, our blood, bones, and bone marrow. It keeps us feeling grounded and connected to our physical body and our physical experience in the 3D realm. To balance the Earth Star Chakra, you can envision and or meditate on the color brown. You can connect with foods from the Earth, like I've mentioned before, and connect with various forms of plant medicine. There are so many plants, spices, and herbs that have medicinal properties and have tremendous healing power. Cinnamon and turmeric, for example, help reduce inflammation in the body. Maca root helps balance hormones, and chamomile is actually antibacterial and antifungal. You can work with crystals such as black onyx, serpentine, and black tourmaline. You can work with scents such as cinnamon and clove. You can also repeat affirmations to yourself, such as, I am deeply connected to the earth and all of the healing it provides, or I am fully grounded and secure within my human experience. Well guys, this has been your basic overview of the primary chakras and maybe two chakras that you've never heard of before. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!